to learn how to download the package how to remove the package from your system and uh, how you will install your package in your system so for that uh, we are going to use yum command over here so first of all you need to understand how the package manager works and uh, how they will download the packages uh, and install in your system let's go to our ppt okay uh, so right now you can see uh, we are in linux system linux system use the package manager name as yum okay so yum goes to the repositories and uh, download your packages and dependencies dependencies means what uh, it will require some packages to run that application or that package so for that the additional package we needed uh, that's called dependencies so when you uh, type yum install some htop or something so they will install you that package also and that dependencies also and uh, what is repositories repository means uh, one type of the server which is contained uh, uh, many packages on that so the linux user uh, asked to the system to install this file that uh, command is goes to the repositories check that file is available or not if available then the uh, that package is downloaded in your system the dependencies uh, is downloaded in your system then uh, yum command will install that package in your system so this is how repositories work so repositories is online server so let's come to the our terminal so let's go to our terminal and uh, check how we will install that in practically so right now we are in our linux system i am using CentOS PC OS Red Hat. Okay. Uh, I am using CentOS which is based on the Red Hat. So if you have Ubuntu or something, you have to type here apt apt or uh, apt hyphen git. So uh, let's download the package name httpd. Uh, it's a server package. So let's type here cm install httpd first of all check your connection is running or not so for that you need to type ping and uh, your dns server google dns server presenter so you can see uh, you will get the ms type of content means you uh, you are connected to the internet let's type control c to close that let's clear the screen okay so we are connected to the internet so now i am going to download the http server for that type yum install stdpd this is the file name present oh, sorry the package name okay right now you can see we are installing the stdpd uh, which is architecture uh, x86 64 bit that version 2.4 point uh, latest version and that repository which is app stream uh, you know the repositories repositories mean the server which can contain the packages and uh, size is 1.4 mb and then uh, you can see the dependencies so http required some packages so right now you can see it will install the dependencies also so for the installation type here y and press enter now it will download that package and now uh, when it is downloaded it will go to install your package in your system okay so right now it will install in our system so right now that package is installed in our system let's clear the screen uh, if you need to know it is downloaded if you want to see that package is downloaded in your system or not so for that you need to type rpm rpm is rp red hat package manager ua ua means query all then using i am using a pipe web httpd present yeah 
right now you can see HTTP 2.4 so this is we are installing right now so right now you can see HTTP it's installed in your system let's get some information about that package for that you need to type yum info httpd press enter and uh, you will get that uh, inst install package some uh, information so httpd is the apache http server and uh, that license coming from the asl 2.0 then the version name is 2.4.37 architecture size source and the repositories right now in our system uh, where we downloaded that uh, package from the app stream okay so let's clear the screen you can see uh, when you down install some packages in windows system you will go to the chrome browser then uh, search that file name download that package install in your system so this some type of heavy work reduce in linux system yum yum command will go to the online directories download that package which is compatible to our system okay so yum command basically what uh, do to go to the repositories uh, search for that package and install in your system so you know uh, HTTP server in, install in our system how we will remove that package from our system for that you need to type yum remove and that package name what is our package name httpd and press enter now you can see it will uninstall your package or remove your package from your system also remove the unused dependencies from your system which is required by the httpd Type your Y, press enter. Yeah, completed. Okay, you can see a uh, complete message. Let's complete by our side. It's uh, uninstall or not, or remove or not. Type your RPM, related package manager, QA, query all, press pipe, grip, what's our package name? HTTPD. Press enter. HTTPD file system. Uh, this is not that uh, HTTPD server. So right now you can see the packages is uh, removed from our system. So this is how you can uh, install some packages, uh, get the information about packages, and the remove your packages from your system.